In this video we're going to talk briefly about the differences between Git and Subversion or SVN. And this is an article I wrote on the WP Pusher blog called Demystifying Git for WordPress Developers. And it talks about uh, some of the differences between Git and Subversion and I thought I'd just quickly go through them here. If you want to read the article you can find it on uh, blog.wppusher.com. So if we scroll down a bit here, this is the first and probably the most important part here. So compared to Subversion, Git is highly decentralized. When you create a Git repository, it's just stored locally on your computer. And there is no, it's not required that you push it to a server like GitHub or your own hosted Git server or anything like that. With Subversion, you need a central server, which is going to host your repository. A Git repository is basically just a bunch of files on your own server. So Git is decentralized and even if you push your repository to something like GitHub, when someone else clones that repository, they get the, they get the full repository, they get everything, so it's completely decentralized. There's no need for some central host. Another difference is that Git is extremely lightweight. And uh, one of the main reasons it's so lightweight is because there's no network latency because you don't have to uh, commit changes to a central server. Also just in its internal workings, Git is a lot faster. The way it stores uh, snapshots of the changes you make, it's very different from Subversion. And then the third part here is that Git is not Subversion. So some of the terminology that's used in the two different uh, tools is, sounds similar but they actually mean different things. So one of them here is the term repository. In SVN, a repository refers to this uh, central location on a server that everyone can check out and commit stuff to, etc. Whereas in Git, it's just a hidden folder on your local computer. Then there's the concept of checking out code. In Git, checking out means that you switch to a different uh, reference, and that could be a branch or a commit or a tag or something like that, you switch to another snapshot basically. And in SVN it means that you download a part of the code to your local machine so you can work on it and then you can push it back to the server. And checking out from a SVN repository is very similar to the concept of cloning a Git repository like you can clone a Git repository from GitHub. Then there's the concept of a branch. In Git it's pretty literally a branch of the working tree so you have the full history you can go back from the branch and all the way back to the root so to say you have everything all changes and everything and whatever branch you on decides what code you see in the working directory that you're in whereas in SVN a branch is sort of a copy of the code in the branches folder so you can work on it there and then when it's ready to be merged it's gonna be moved back in the trunks folder so the concepts there are a little different but all in all, I think if you know Subversion already, it's going to be pretty easy for you to learn Git. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.